Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, July 6, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and the Phoenix Monitor today will talk to Melissa Stockwell. She is nominated for an ESPY Award this year after winning the 2010 Para Triathlon World Championship. Melissa Stockwell joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Chicago. Hey, Melissa, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Congratulations on the ESPY nomination. For a lot of people who don't know, the ESPYs are ESPN sort of annual awards and there's a lot of different categories and uh, you are being honored for what you did last year winning the paratriathlon congrats thank you thank you very much tell us how you lost your leg um, I was uh, in the in the US Army and I was part of the first cab division deployed over to Iraq in 2004 and just on a routine convoy through central Baghdad my vehicle was struck by a roadside bomb which to make a Really long story, really, really short, resulted in the loss of my left leg above the knee. Wow. So, obviously, a very traumatic injury. Unfortunately, we've seen it happen to way too many fellow soldiers over the past, you know, eight to ten years. Um, you know, when did you decide, okay, I'm not going to let this hold me back. I still want to be active. Um, you know, pretty early on. I was, um, I accepted the loss of my leg pretty early on that it wasn't going to grow back. And... You know, being at Walter Reed and being surrounded by people that have lost, you know, two limbs, three limbs, four limbs, their eyesight, um, you know, traumatic brain injuries, I kind of considered myself one of the lucky ones and decided I wanted to kind of live my life for those that, that really couldn't anymore, those that didn't come back at all. So I kind of made a decision pretty early on to make my life the most, the most that I, whatever I could do with it and not really to let anything, um, mi losing a leg kind of hold me back from doing what I wanted to do. And Luckily, there's a lot of organizations out there that get you out of your hospital room and, you know, out into any, whatever it is, just doing anything active. So um, just a few months after my injury, I was, you know, on the ski slopes of Colorado. I was crossing the finish line of the New York City Marathon with the hand cycle and really just kind of learned to live a life of athletics. Good for you. Did you do triathlons before your injury? Oh, no, I did not. Um, so after I was injured, so I started swimming at Walter Reed because it was really easy to kind of get into the pool and get a few laps and without, have to, without having to wear my prosthetic leg. And um, I took down it recreationally and then learned of the U.S. Paralympics, learned the, about the Paralympics um, a few months before I was medically retired from the Army and thought, you know, what greater honor would it be to go over and represent my country with you know, on the world athletic stage and just kind of the path and the journey that would have taken, you know, from, from Baghdad and just the whole recovery and that journey. And, um, you know, I got after Beijing, I got into triathlons in 2009, and then I've been kind of swimmer turned triathlete and doing those ever since. But before I lost my leg, no, definitely not. Talk about making the most of a crummy situation. You know, you mentioned that you, you have this happen to you. It's a tragedy, but you've been able to do things that you probably would have otherwise not been able to experiences that you'll have forever yeah definitely i mean i i look back seven years now and i can honestly say that i have a richer life or i've done more with my life with one leg than i could have ever imagined doing with two i mean a new a new career in the field of prosthetics um athletic opportunities and the people i've met and you know i credit it to i mean first off the care i got at walter reed and all the nurses and doctors and um, therapist there and second the you know the family and friends that's kind of stood by me through through the hard times and if I had a bad moment they got me through and um, and third just the organizations that really you know said it was possible they they said you can get out of your hospital room and you can you can ski down a mountain on one leg you know four months after you've lost it and I thought no way there's no way I can do that but um, just the positive atmosphere and being able to do that really has paved the way for what my life has become are you still in the military, or what, what do you do professionally? Nope, so I'm medically retired. I was medically retired in um, 2005. I stay active with um, some veteran organizations. I'm on the board of directors for the Wounded Warrior Project, 
And um, as a job, I actually work as a prosthetist, so I fit other amputees with artificial limbs here in Chicago with a company called Check and Cyrus Prosthetics. And then um, just stay active, you know, busy training for various races and, um, you know, doing some speaking here and there along the way and just trying to, I don't know, live, get, get the most out of life. Did you have a nice 4th of July? I had a wonderful 4th of July. It's one of my favorite holidays. Well, thank you for everything you've done for our country. And congratulations again. I hope you have a blast next week at the ESPYs. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. That's Melissa Stockwell joining us in the Phoenix Monitor from Chicago. That is it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish. <laughs>